when I look back on my life, Cynthia, I, I had so many, I would say angels, male, female, uh, men, women, that have blessed me, that have helped me get to where I am. Because I grew up in East St. Louis, that's where I'm from. Um, I grew up a single mother, six children, I, I'm in the middle. And I, I will tell you, I had so many coaches, other parents, um, people that I didn't even know advocating for me, sponsoring me to different camps, um, taking me, you know, sponsoring me, even guiding me, even in church. As a young girl, I would go to church, uh, seven, eight years old, I would go to church by myself. So I would be in church and all these church parents would take care of me. So when I look back on my life, there were so many people outside of my mother that took care of me, that guided me. I, I really knew nothing about sports, and I, I told this story on the, that's what she said, but basketball saved my life. If it wasn't for basketball, I have no idea where I would have ended up, but because of basketball, I had an opportunity to win a state championship. You know, in, in 1980, um, East St. Louis Lincoln girls, we won a state championship. That there wet my beak for more. And it, and it showed me that I could use my athletic ability to propel my life, to do something differently, to, to move outside of where, where I was living. You know, at that time, East St. Louis, and, the, and coming from a single mother, our, our resources were limited um, or non-existent. And so I always dreamed of having a better life. And so for me, athletics was the way for me to do something differently with my life. I, even though I won in high school, I was 15 years old when we won a state championship. I mean, what that did for me, the confidence that it gave me was remarkable. But I'm gonna step back. The first time I ever won something that made me look at it and say, I could do this. I won a math contest when I was in the fifth grade for the entire district of East St. Louis. And at that time, there were quite a few elementary schools. And I was such a, a introverted child that I won the math contest and I didn't even know it. So when they announced it, my math teacher, uh, Ms. Gibson, she said, Sylvia, you won. So I won out of hundreds of children. I got first place. I remember getting a trophy and taking a picture with my principal, you know, when you're in elementary school. Your principal and your teachers are basically your heroes, right? Got an opportunity to take a picture with the principal and the, my teacher, and we were in the local newspaper, and that was a big deal for me. I remember winning there. And then, so that's in elementary school. I go on to junior high school, and now I'm running track, playing basketball. Never learned to play volleyball in, in, in junior high school. Um, and so in the ninth grade, I won the hurdles. I won first place in the hurdles for the junior high school, all junior high schools that were in East St. Louis. So I had a taste of winning in elementary school. I come back and I have a taste of winning athletically in junior high school. And then fast forward, I go to, I go to high school and we win a state championship. So I think those nuggets of winning just continue to build my confidence and when I tell you build my confidence, I thought I could do almost anything. So I went, I, I was awarded an athletic scholarship for the University of Houston. Um, I was recruited by a lot, of, a lot of schools, Illinois, Missouri, just quite a few. Um, and I had some accolades in high school uh, athletically. But I go on to the University of Houston and we did well uh, as a women's team and a lot of experiences there. But from University of Houston, I had an opportunity to try out for, at that time, it was the equivalent of the WNBA. Um, I wasn't drafted, but I was, they were, they were take, it was an open trial. And I remember my college coach, Greg Williams, um, he said, Sylvia, I think you should go try out. They were having tryouts in Austin, Texas. And I said, but coach, I wasn't drafted. And he said, it doesn't matter. And he wrote me a post-it note. And that post-it note, he said, you are the purest shooter that I've ever seen. I need you to go to that camp and shoot your jumper and shoot it often. 
And so that note I would carry around in my in my purse. I did go to Austin and I battled. I battled against a lot of a lot of the girls at the time that were drafted. And so I made the roster there, but unfortunately the league folded. And once the league folded, you had all of these women that were talented and looking to to continue to play basketball. And so um, I had a sports agent, and from there I, I signed a contract to play uh, professional basketball in Lugano, Switzerland. Um, I did a season in Switzerland, broke my knee, rehabbed it best I could, and then did another season in Spain. Uh, from there, I, I just never, my, my leg, my knee was just never the same. And then, so from there, I came home, started life, and moved into healthcare. 